47 ways to make you mine. Hello, hello. Welcome back once again to Miami. And today we're going to take care of the shafted redacted challenge. This is quite a tricky one. There's a fair bit to do. But right off the bat what we're going to do is run behind this billboard here. We're going to vault the wall. And crouch on landing. We're going to run around past these guys here. We're going to set off this little toy that's sitting on the bin. That'll distract the woman in front of us there. And as soon as she goes to investigate, we can go around behind her. And we're just going to make our way over into this door, or through this door, should I say. Round to the right here. Jump through this window. I'm going to grab this key, but I don't know what it's for. So I'm going to select greeting charges. And we're going to creep out down through this corridor into the door on the end. And we're going to place our breach in charge on the safe here. And we're going to blow the safe open. And we're going to take all of the contents. There's a document and a bomb. We need them both for this. And then we're going to jump through the window. Make our way right the way down the length of the paddock. All the way to the other end. Don't have to worry about enforcers or anyone yet at the moment. Uh, that'll be different on the way back. So what we want to do now is get a mechanics outfit for the yellow team. So I just thought I'd be able to sneak through that way there, but couldn't make it. So we're going to vault over the wall. We're going to grab the key card that's just in the corner here. It's quite hard to spot sometimes. And we're going to go through this door here, turn off this generator, and hide in the cupboard behind us. And when somebody comes to investigate it and turn the generator back on, we're going to knock them out, put them in the cupboard, and take their outfit. Because we need one of these outfits, one of the yellow ones, to get this challenge to work. So somebody's here, they've turned on the generator, so we're going to knock them out. Hide them in the cupboard here. And then we're going to take their outfit. So now we have the right outfit. So what we're going to do now is go over to the pit area here. We're going to plant the uh, car bomb onto Moses' car and watch the cutscene go through there we go so that's everything set up basically what we need to do now is go and ring Robert Knox also whilst in this disguise as far as I'm aware so instead of running down the paddock again and having to avoid all the security guard enforcers because we've got the key cards I'm going to run right through each and every pit, pit box, pit crew area till we come out the other side and I'm going to avoid this camera because we're still on for a silent assassin at the moment get my bearings because I don't normally come around this way so basically we're making our way right back to the main entrance which is just through here and we're going to use this phone box just by the underpass. But first, we need to get ourselves a coin. So, underneath the underpass, we have the tambourine man, Buskin. And the keyword there is Buskin. So people have left money in his hat. And we're just going to borrow one of his coins, make our way back up the stairs the way we came. And we're going to use the phone box at the top of the stairs. We're going to ring Robert Knox. Yes? This is the mechanic. The special component has been installed in the car and is ready for activation. Excellent. 
Meet me shortly at the overpass. I'd like to handle this one personally. All right. So once we've had the phone call, we're going to go back through the underpass. And when we get up the other side, we're going to swing a U-turn. Take a nice tight corner. And we're going to make our way up to the overpass. Which is just here. We need to lockpick this gate first. And if we're quick enough, we'll beat Robert Knox up here. So all the way up to the top of the stairs. And yes, we beat Robert Knox to the stairs. So we need to take out his bodyguard before we can do this, really. So what I was thinking was, I'll come in here and I'll plus place a gun or something. And then I realised, oh, I'm a bit short on time, let's try the coin trick. And then I realised I don't have any coins left, because I only had that one that I picked up and used in the phone box. And then it was too late. So I'm going to have to try another technique. But Robert Knox is here now. So we're going to go through the little conversation Mr. they Smith, have. A pleasure. Do you have the trigger? Right here, sir. Thank you. Tomorrow's papers will surely just write this off as a terrorist militia attack on some rich corporate CEO. But you and I will know better. Now watch this. Leave me. I need to be alone for a moment. Yes, sir. So the plan is I'm going to follow the bodyguard into this room and knock him out very quickly. Unfortunately, he gets through the door and stops dead and I walk into the back of him, which gets his attention. So I decide to walk around him and throttle him, at which point Robert Knox has seen that. And as he goes to run away, I'm luckily enough able to catch him and knock him out as well. So now that he's unconscious and his bodyguard is out of the way, all we're gonna do is drag his body to the lift shaft, dump his unconscious body off the edge, and there you go, that will get you the shafted challenge. It's a nice easy one there, but there's a lot to do. So I have been Anubis, and I will see you all in the next video.